the cut version of this episode must be so short. What did they put into the cut version? <sighs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. We are watching episode number six of Bed Friend today. Um, I am hoping that this episode is going to be better than last week's episode. Um, I'm hoping that we can just forget about last week's episode altogether. I mean, it didn't really have any plot development in any way. So I think that if we were to just forget that it didn't happen that it wouldn't have any impact on, you know, the arc of the show. So that's what we're going to go with. And hopefully this week's episode, something will happen. Like, I don't want to go into this. Like, I hate going into episodes feeling like, <sighs> like, I hate going into it in a negative frame of mind. But last week's episode, like, it's not like it was bad. It just felt really confused I want to like this show I really want to like this show I love the cast and I think the concept's really interesting do I think that they needed to add two more extra episodes on no they could have just got rid of episode five um but <laughs> We're going to go in with an open mind. I mean, it sounds like we're not going into it with an open mind, but we are going to go into it with an open mind. And hopefully this is just a better episode. I don't remember how the last episode ended. I mean, it must have been a cliffhanger because it's bed friend, but I don't remember. <gasps> oh, I remember. Team Coffee Cup. What the hell? I now remember how it ended with the team being like, are you dating? Because there was a miss subtitle, wasn't there? Where Ua said no, and King was like, yeah, we are secretly dating. And then they were all like, you what now? And then it ended. Where's the rest of that scene? Is this in the future? Are we never gonna get a continuation of that scene? What is happening? If you're gonna if you're gonna have a stylistic choice in ending every single episode just out of nowhere, like I get ending an episode on a cliffhanger, but it's like they just random number generate where to fucking end the episode. It's like, oh okay, we're gonna end it at this time point. And it just ends and you're like, the fuck? But if you're gonna do that, at least continue it, start the next episode. Oh, I judged it too, <laughs> too, too quickly. I had a whole massive rant and then they are continuing it. We, we just, either I just blacked out for part of the scene in the last episode because this work stuff, I'm going to put it out there. This work stuff's boring. Like, all the office stuff with, like, him not doing his work and, like, the other two colleagues and Pibas not getting the promotion. Boring as fuck. Like, does anyone care about any of that? Um, so maybe I just blacked that out and that's why I don't remember it happening. Or maybe they have just gone back a little bit further. Um, so I sincerely apologise to bed friend. They are continuing on from the last episode. Eh, <laughs> They've mistranslated it again, but he definitely says my. <sighs> okay, that's really annoying because it it completely changes the whole scene. ถ้าพี่คิงกับพี่เอื้อแอบแซ่บกันจริงอ่ะพี่เจดอ่ะต้องไปเห่าแข่งกับไอ้ด่างแต่ทําไมอ่ะเดี๋ยวผมยอมก
King's gonna be pissed. Awesome. Why the fuck has Crit sent that to everyone? Why wouldn't you just message Ua? Like, why does he feel the need to announce to everyone that he wants to get Ua in his room alone? Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I don't think I am. I think he's creepy as fuck. But... See, even Jade is like, this guy's creepy. He's going to try and take advantage of you, Ua. Even the guy that does do no work knows what's going on. Absolutely not. Kit is clearly using his position of power over Ua. From what I've learned from last episode, Ua doesn't know Kit and they haven't met each other before and his reaction was just because he kind of knows Kit's type and he is wary of him because of his previous experiences which yes he's had Ua has had people who are in a position of power over him take advantage of that before so he probably has just like spotted the signs and it's fucking disgusting what Kit's trying to do here. That's a shit ton of work. That's so inappropriate. Fuck. No. Perfect. Yes. Yes. I like that it was just not even acknowledging it. I actually do think that that's the right way to play it. Kit wants Ua's attention, and I think the way that he's going about pursuing Ua, I think he would quite enjoy the pushback of Ua saying no. He seems like that kind of guy that likes it when they say no. So I think Ua's doing the right thing by just completely ignoring it and just taking himself out of this situation. Yeah, I think so. ทำไมอ่ะจริงๆกูรู้มาว่าไม้กันตลาดอ่ะแจ้งฟีดแบ็กมานานแล้วแต่เค้าคงอยากบีบกูอ่ะอืมso I don't, I don't get it either, really. Is he punishing Ua for, like, not acknowledging his advances? I'm a little bit confused. Oh, right. This is what happened last episode, where there was just multiple things where I was like, I'm confused. I don't understand what's happening. That's really sweet. And he's bought everyone one so that, you know, because he knows that Ua doesn't want people to think something's going on between them. What's <laughs> It was so uncomfortable with this. 
พี่ว่าตัวนี้ครับเพราะผมมีอะไรต้องแก้ไหมครับ Yes Jade ออไม่มีครับน้องเอือครับถ้าอย่างนั้นเดี๋ยวไว้พี่มาตามงานอีกทีนะได้ครับ I love that they're all protecting him เพื่อให้มันดูเหนื่อยๆนะอืมเขาสวยมากเลยคุณบอกมึงยังวะว่ามึงโคตรหมุนแมวเลย Isn't that a Net James thing as well? I mean, I'm not like <laughs> like I like Net James, but I haven't watched a lot of Net James stuff. But I'm sure I've seen. Some cat stuff. That makes it sound really kinky. I mean, I think it is with King Ua. I don't think that it is with Net James. Um, it, yeah. Anyway, if I'm wrong, then feel free to let me know. If I'm right, feel free to let me know. It's sweet that they're just like sat here enjoying each other's company. Okay, they're not. I was about to be like, it's really lovely that they're spending time together not having sex. Um, <laughs> yeah, that ended quickly. Okay. I thought Uwe was tired. He looks bloody exhausted. King still can't keep his hands off him. I mean, neither can Uwe. what we saw in the trailer like I don't want to judge people but I think I know what's gonna happen he's gonna dress him up like a cat I was hoping when they had that chat I was hoping that it was just gonna be like a fantasy um and that we weren't actually gonna have it were dressed up like a cat okay I mean, I, I don't want to judge people. I'm not judging people. I'm not judging. I, we're not going to discuss it. <laughs> I'm just going to gloss over it. I'm going to lie. Like... Can you handle it, right? He is dressing him up like a cat. Okay. Did he buy this specifically for Ua? Or is this a kink that he had prior to Ua? Oh, I forgot about their bet. I think he wants you to do it. He wants you to want to do it. That was actually really lovely. I actually really liked that we got that scene. Um, obviously, I was a bit apprehensive of this scene when I saw it in the trailer. But the fact that we got to have that nice scene of like them having a conversation... King getting explicit consent from Ua and King kind of like opening up and being vulnerable and like being like so this is something that I like something that's a bit unconventional putting that in Ua's hand to Ua could have mocked him for that Ua could have done anything Ua could have said absolutely not 
But it's nice that they had that conversation where King was like, if, if it's not something that you're open to, then that's fine. I'm not going to force you to do anything that you don't want to do. Which he has kind of made clear before, but I like that he's reinforcing that. And I think Ua likes that he's reinforcing that. I think that's the I think that's the thing that keeps Ua going back to King is that King is very adamant at getting explicit consent. He's very adamant that he's not going to force Ua to do anything that Ua's not comfortable with, which I don't think is something that Ua's had previously. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he likes it. I know what to do. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Hell yes, he is. Yeah, he can't say no to you. He can't resist you. Yeah, so what? Yes, I think he does. This I get. This I get. <laughs> this I'm um oh uh, yeah, I'm on board with this. Uh, I don't even I don't want to talk about it. I don't think I want to I don't think I want to get into it. Other than um this this I get. The peaking Nong Ua. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I get why King's into that. I get it. Bloody hell! <laughs> Fuck me. Right, okay. The cut version of this episode must be so short. What did they put into the cut version? <sighs> oh god, I can't. I was like, I'm not into it at all. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not. Um, but this scene. King worships Ua. Um, <coughs> we almost just saw Nets ass. never seen Ua look at King like that before. I think that changed things for him. We obviously have heard from Ua his motivation for getting into this friends with benefits with King and it was kind of because essentially it was like my life's shit, I'm shit, why wouldn't I? Like why wouldn't I just do something even more destructive? Fuck it. Um, I think that King's showing Ua 
that it doesn't have to be that way. King's showing you that not everyone's like that. That not everyone is going to treat him the way that it was previously treated in the past. King's showing him that there are people, King, that are going to treat him with respect and that are going to worship him. And that it's going to be enjoyable for the both of them, not just for one person. Because I think previously it's been people taking things from Ua and that's not what King wants. King doesn't want to take anything that Ua's not readily willing to give that Uwa doesn't also want himself um I think that Uwa's finally starting to see that and that's why he's now looking at King with feelings you now is the right time to tell him how you truly feel. He's open to it though. You can see it all over his face that he's open to what you're fucking asking for. Now was the time to tell him. Now was the time to ask him. Yes. I think Ua does. Yes. See, now I'm not surprised. Now I'm not shocked by his reaction. Now I'm not shocked that he would say yes because it makes sense for him to say yes after everything that has happened after the way that King has started acting towards him. Well, I mean, not that King's really changed, but we've seen that it was finally seen how King behaves to him. We've seen that Uwa finally can understand that King genuinely has feelings for him. It makes sense now that Uwa would be open to going on a trip with him. Even though previously I would say yes, Ua probably did have feelings for him at the time, but it wouldn't, it just didn't make sense for him to share those feelings. I just feel that Ua needed more time to build his trust for King before he started saying yes to things. <laughs> Mm. this this is what Ua needs King just like hands over control to Ua and like I think that that could sound like a bad thing but I don't think that it is here I think that's what Ua needs did you actually fucking do some work <laughs> Oh no, you didn't. You're asking Ua to do your work. He's just piling work on Ua so that Ua has to go to him and ask for help. That's what he's doing, isn't he? He is a fucking arsehole. Because he's got to go and ask Kit himself. Something's gonna happen in it. Something is gonna happen. They ain't going on this trip. There is no way they're going on this fucking trip. 
I mean, I mean to be fair, they potentially could because it would be an excuse for them to just do some more incredibly hot NC scenes, which seems like this show is all about that. I'm not complaining about that, but I'm just stating a fact. Um, but they're bigging this trip up too much. They're not going on this trip. Something's going to happen that means that Ua can't go. Kit's going to happen, probably. They're not going. We're king. I can't get too excited about it because I really don't think it's gonna happen. King can't go. Shit. It was just started to trust him. Mm -mm -mm. No, but he's not going to tell you that. Because he... The little trust that you'd got... Fucking vanished. And now he feels like a fool for starting to fall for you. And it's going to be even harder to get back in the position that you had with him, where he actually felt like he was worth something and that you thought that he was worth something. All that progress has just vanished. Ua, making me cry every single fucking episode. Okay. Who is it? King. He's trying to be normal. He's trying to sh not show how heartbroken he is about not going. King, how you are? Can you show me the film? No. You want to go home? You want to go home? Yeah. <laughs> You've took about 10 steps backwards in your relationship with him. <sighs> I'm not blaming King because I think he probably does have his reasons and I think that he probably did try to get out of it. Um as hard as he could. I just feel awfully for Ua. Because I think that yes, whilst he'd taken steps in his relationship with King, I think that he it it was also helping him like take steps to getting back to a place where he loved himself again. And it's just kind of been a massive setback on both of those parts for Ua. ผมดูสิน้องเอื้อมาเช้าจังเลยนะครับอ่ะสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับนี่คุยอะไรกันอยู่ครับเนี่ยน่าสนุกเชียวเอ่อก็คุยเรื
ว่าบ้านน้องเอื้ออยู่ใกล้บ้านคุณคิงครับไปมันก่อนเลยครับผมขอตัวไปซื้อกาแฟก่อนสวัสดีครับ It really is like war between these two. Well, well, I mean, obviously everyone is Team King. If you are Team K Kit in this, then you're just wrong. <laughs> this is awkward, though. Hey, King. Let me do it. Come on, what's going on? Oh. Yeah, King. How was it? ก็ไม่เจดบอกผมว่าสมัยนี้เขายังดูตัวอย่างหรอพี่อุ้ยแล้วคนที่แม่พี่เลือกให้อ่ะไม่ถูกใจเลยเหรออืมพัฒนากูตอนเนี้ยเป็นคนที่ถูกเลือกแต่ไม่รู้ว่าเขาจะเลือกกูหรือเปล่านะโห that's not fair that's not fair I don't think that was the right thing to say there I think he should have been like no, absolutely not. I already have someone that I have my eye on. Not being like, well, the person that I like won't choose me, so what are you going to do? Um, Iwa pretty much did. Iwa was ready and willing to put himself out there and go on that fucking trip with you. And you're the one that said, I can't go on the trip. That was, That's not fair. Unless I've misunderstood the, the conversation. I'm not happy with what he just said. Yeah. It was not fucking happy either. Go for it, na. How now? Go to pass. Go for it. Your words aren't going to change this. You have to show him again that he means something to you. No, he's not going to go to the fucking beach with you this weekend. No. No. This not happening. Not right now. Okay. Yeah. This is the best thing to do is respect his decision. What are you talking about, Wena? Ben, get your nona. Why don't you make them like this? Can I? King should know by now that Uwa doesn't necessarily say the things that he means. King should know by now what that was. And that was Uwa not really trusting you anymore. And that you need to build that back. Oh, I just feel so bad for him. Uwa that is, not King. Well, I mean, I do kind of feel bad for King, but King fucking made his bed and now he's got a lie in it. Um, <laughs> Feel bad for Ua. What's happening? Ua, you're just in the end. Me, what? You think that they? They call you to meet up. They have something to do. I don't know. แต่เขาเป็นคนทำแหลกตามหามึงวุ่นวายไปหมดเลย This guy is actually disgusting เดี๋ยวมันก็ใกล้จบแล้วล่ะ Is he gonna resign? เปล่าแต่กูไปเป็นเพื่อนอื
มือรีบไปก่อนเลยเดี๋ยวกูตามไปไปไม่ใช่ฉันไม่เข้าใจว่าเป็นการเลือกตั้งครับ whilst it is a bit like we're back to square one now I actually thought that that was a better episode I like that they built something I mean it all came fucking crashing down but at least we got some progress like at least we got some movement yes it was forward and then back to nothing but everything kind of like made sense and then obviously now Kit is gonna be a big player things aren't gonna go great there um he is so unbelievably creepy like he's creepy is not even the right word he's so predatory it's actually disgusting um and i'm concerned that because it was now in the place that he's in which is kind of the place that we started off with him in that He's gonna fight it less. I feel like he doesn't have anywhere near as much fight in him after what's now just happened with King. Now that he kind of, I think it's even worse because he did kind of, he did allow himself to trust someone again, and his previous feelings were proved right that he can't trust people, and I think he feels worthless again. And I really hope, I really, really, really hope that Uwe still has it in him to continue to say no to Kit and to continue pushing him away. But that was a much more enjoyable episode. If if they keep on going like this, then I'm going to be happy. I hope that you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. I will be uploading my reactions to Bed Friend every single Wednesday. So if you want to catch those, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time.